Greetings, this is Gerald Thunder Softwares. Today I'm going to show you how to access a Laravel application on your browser without running the PHP at some sub command. Let's get started. I'll get to uh, your pro project installation folder. You can see this is the structure of our directory structure of our Laravel application. So normally, if you want to preview your app, you have to run this command. And, uh, then you go to your browser and run that. Uh, try to access that address. In this case, localhost. 800, 8000. So there we go. But normally, uh, you are to, in, to install a web based application, a Laravel application on a client's computer. You can't tell them to be running this command every other time. So, in case it's being installed locally uh, or on cPanel, you have to do some tricks. That's what we are going to do right now. So open your project folder, create a new folder and call it whatever you like. Mine will be application. I already have one so I'm just gonna match it. So there we go, I have my application folder, it's empty. Now select everything else in that folder as in your project folder except the public and the newly created application folder and you can cut and paste them into the application folder you just created go back and uh, into the public folder copy everything down uh, and cut cut everything down paste it in your root application root directory and now you can delete the public folder now open your index.php is always the entry point of a Laravel application open it with your favorite text editor I'm using code it I'm using a VS code now you have to point the to point it to the auto auto load in the app files in the application bootstrap folder replace this application and what you've named your newly created folder in project root save the file and close your editor now you don't have to run the PHP at sub command to, have, to access this directory. You can just navigate to localhost project folder. And you can see our WFMS application folder here. Just click it, and there we go. We are in. You can access it without running the PHP at sub command. In case you want to create a virtual host for your exam, uh, watch my previous uh, video. Now you can add a virtual host to your exam. I've provided the link below. Thank you for watching.